Hello everyone, today we are exploring another powerful blending mode in Krita, the Burn mode. The Burn blending mode in Krita works for both colored and black and white photos. You can also use it in any of your digital paintings. It is great for creating a moody or dramatic atmosphere. It's also great for producing a strong visual difference between your main subject and the background, making the subject clearly stand out. Let's see what we can do with this black and white image from Pixabay. I have the image at the very bottom. On the top is a bokeh background image, also from Pixabay. The first thing I want to do is desaturate this background. Hit Ctrl plus U and slide the saturation slider all the way to the left until it says minus 100. Next, hit Ctrl plus M to deepen the dark areas. Just watch me. Finally, change the blending mode from normal to burn. What we have done is deepen the shadows and mid-tones. It made the image feel more intense and grounded. We also increased the contrast, meaning the dark areas are now much darker and the transition from light to dark is more pronounced. You can easily see the difference by turning the effect off and then back on. If the effect is too strong for you, remember you can always lower the opacity of the layer. For this tutorial, I won't be adjusting the opacity of the layer. Instead, I will work on the image below. First, duplicate the original photo by pressing Ctrl plus J. Next, press Ctrl plus M again and this time move the curve upward to lighten the image. Finally, press Ctrl plus L to open the Levels tool and adjust them to your liking. The image looks pretty good now, but we can make it even more interesting by adding some colors. Our goal will be to add warm, desaturated tones that will give the image a vintage or a faded feel. To achieve this, we'll add a gradient color on top of the bokeh layer and then apply the burn blending mode again. Let's get started. Click on the bokeh background layer to activate it. Add a fill layer. In the dialog box, select a Gradient. Click on the Gradient Colors tab. Click on the button Choose Gradient Preset. Choose any of the gradient presets provided by Grita. You can move these little water drops markers on the gradient bar to modify the gradient to your liking. Once you're satisfied with your gradient, click OK. Now change the blending mode of the fill layer from normal to burn. Finally decrease the opacity to about 27%. And you are done, you've successfully added a dramatic, moody and vintage touch to your image. Now it's your turn. Thank you for watching, au revoir et à bientôt.